Xavier Kalel did make another prophecy update after his uh, initial prophecy of the passing of TB Joshua, which was very direct, very straightforward. <laughs> the leader is going. And that particular prophecy now is saying, is an update on the previous prophecy. And he's saying, uh, people should understand the full extent of what he meant by the ending of the mighty testimony, which he, he meant to TB Joshua. He says this particular one is actually fully meaning that the end of everything connected to the mighty testimony, which is TB Joshua, that is. Then, which then brings up the issue of the succession of what we have been discussing recently or what people have been discussing. I, I have not been discussed. Let me not say we, because <laughs> I was not in that discussion. I haven't made a video about it or neither have I made any comment about it. But I've seen people saying that uh, the wife of TB Joshua is the one who is presently taking over the church. And um, relatively to, the, to, to that entire subject came up the issue of this idea that people who are supposedly called into ministry, their, their wives and their family members automatically just fall into ministry as well. Uh, it's as if the, the entire priesthood of Aaron is now seen within certain people being called into ministry because then they, they their kids and their wives then follow on i haven't heard a preaching i think i only saw one particular video i don't know if it was motivational speaking or if it was preaching like thingy but it fits within the mold of how tb joshua preached there wasn't anything different it was just about the same but i did hear that she was a little bit more profound than most of the disciples of the uh, just in my view i felt like uh, most of the disciples are just too much hail tb joshua uh, while as the wife just if she's speaking about god she will speak about god but to the particular message that i saw i think i saw like two videos or something like that but i never saw I don't know if that was preaching because it sounded like motivational speaking. A lot of people that came from TV Joshua, they aren't that deep in the word. Now, of course, there are people that uh, they do kind of like sound a little bit more charismatic. Whatever theological ground you're from, you might find that not so. It's really basic. Like if he's saying love your neighbor, he just says love your neighbor. It's just that straightforward. We all have different gifts. I understand that part. The issue of the succession, therefore, who does go there? Who does try to fill up Tib Joshua's shoes? They hailed him so much. Like when he sat down, they would be celebrating. When he would be smiling, they would be celebrating. When he was in a line, they would be celebrating. When he would pick up a brick, <laughs> they would be in celebration mode. And so the succession, according to this prophecy, is that the succession is not going to work. Now, I've stated the issue of them trying to bury him into the churches because they realize that the succession is not going to be enough. They're going to need something else to back it up. And so it provides that need for, to, for the scorn church to be followed further. Now, would that be the ending of the mighty testimony as along with everything that comes with it, including the succession? That is what... Uh, that is what you might say about the, what Sylvia Carl L is actually saying. So that video was posted on the 16th about four days ago from the time when I'm making this video. For me, there's a lot of questions around it. First of all, this issue of people just being pastors because their wives, their husbands were pastors. Don't get that. Number two, they, there's going to be just too much competition unless they, they're probably going to split the church into the disciples just being teaching but how does that lend into leadership because a church needs a leader okay uh, it's not uh, why particularly the structure i want to be very clear if you have a house church this is different ne? so don't try to employ house church rules <laughs> into this format house church rules might be different because we have a board we can select someone else to, to teach today select another person to teach the other day but then when it comes to a church which is formatted the way tb joshua's church is it needs a leader like christ embassy has pastor chris all these other churches have their, their pastor yeah so it needs a lead and amongst the disciples 
that might not arise. So I do kind of see what he's saying. Tibi Joshua didn't exactly leave any succession uh, which might precede that teaching road, which I didn't feel like he had. So it's a kind of a weird thing. For me, I could say, yeah, I don't see it. I don't see Scorn after Tibi Joshua. What does it look like? So I could kind of... <laughs> I would kind of see what he's saying in that. But hey, who are we to say? <laughs> that lives to be so that lives to be told. I just wanted to alert you guys of the particular prophecy, a kind of a leader type of a thing. But here it's gonna be a very difficult route to actually get that. Zarek Shiali show we do daily Christian commentary videos, other videos done today, they'll be done in the pinned comments. So you can go check that video down on Savior Carl L's YouTube channel. On here, just wanted to state the update and to say, I do kind of see it. Is it true? We don't know. <laughs> Why are you asking? Did I give the prophecy? <laughs> Is Ricky seed? Check the pink comments and I'll see you later. <laughs>